You've seen the ads, liquid aeration is the future, but when researchers put it to the test, the results didn't just fall short, they were shocking. Let me show you what they found. Coming up in this video, we're gonna take a look at core aeration versus liquid aeration. You're gonna get clear research back answers to three questions that could make or break the health of your loan. What exactly is core aeration and how does it work? What is liquid aeration and what's actually in that spray? And most importantly, which one works better according to science, not sales reps? By the end, you'll know what really helps your grass grow deeper roots, break through compaction, and thrive year after year so you can make the right choice for your loan and your wallet. You know how your body needs oxygen, nutrients, and water to stay healthy? Well, your lawn is no different, but when your soil is compacted, it's like trying to breathe through a straw. Everything the roots need, air, water, nutrients, gets blocked. And that's why aeration isn't just a nice to have, it's essential if you want a strong, thriving lawn that can actually absorb what you're giving it. What is core aeration? A machine removes small plugs of soil using hollow tines. This physically relieves compaction and creates open channels for oxygen, water, and nutrients to reach the roots. Those plugs on the lawn, let them break down naturally, they're full of organic benefit. What are the key benefits of core aeration? It reduces compaction by actually changing the structure of the soil. It improves how nutrients and water move into the root zone. It helps your grass grow deeper, stronger roots, and it even breaks down thatch. And best of all, it's been scientifically proven over decades to deliver real, measurable results. What is liquid aeration? Liquid aeration is a sprayable product that's marketed as a cleaner, no-plug solution. It usually contains things like surfactants, humic and fulvic acids, enzymes, and soil conditioners. The idea is it creates microscopic pores that loosen soil without disrupting the surface. It sounds great, right? What are the claimed benefits of liquid aeration? It's easier to apply, there's no mess, there's no plugs to deal with, and no cleanup. Some companies say it reduces runoff, helps break down thatch, improves soil infiltration, and boosts soil biology. That's what the marketing says, but what does the science say? Let's look at what the research says featuring Travis Shaddix. In his video, Is Liquid Aeration a Scam? Travis breaks down the first peer-reviewed study comparing liquid aeration to core aeration. The study ran from 2020 to 2022 at the University of Georgia and focused on Tiff Tough Bermuda grass grown in compacted clay soil. It compared five treatments, core aeration, liquid aeration products like Air 8, fertilizer, seaweed extract, and a control group that received no treatment. They measured turf color, water retention, root biomass, surface hardiness, water infiltration, and soil compaction. Here's what the study found out. For liquid aeration, there was no meaningful improvement in soil compaction or water infiltration. Any surface softness that was observed came from added moisture, not from actual structural changes in the soil. Turf color and root mass were no better than what was achieved by using fertilizer alone. Now let's talk about core aeration. This method improved infiltration, root mass, surface softness, and reduced compaction. It was the only method that actually made measurable changes to the soil structure. Here's the final verdict. Liquid aeration may offer minor benefits to soil biology, but it's not a substitute for core aeration. If you want long-term change, especially here in Wilmington, Hampstead, or Leland, where soils are often sandy or clay heavy, core aeration is the proven solution. Don't get fooled by clever marketing trust the data. So now you know the truth about core aeration versus liquid aeration and why core aeration is still the gold standard if you want real results. But here's the thing, even if you use the right method, doing it at the wrong time can still leave your lawn stressed or struggling to recover. That's why the next step is knowing exactly when to aerate based on the season and your grass type. I got a full video that walks you through the perfect time and step by step. Click here to watch that next and make sure your lawn gets the full benefit of everything you just learned.